For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. Mayor, if I wanted to pick up a, um, a heroin needle and dispose of it, does your drug war prevent me from doing that? And why are you jaywalking just to get away from a reporter? So I'm standing here with State Rep. Gary Hopper. Actually, can we move over a little bit into the sun? Because you're totally shadowed right now. Yeah, okay. That'll help. Is that okay? Well, I like staying in the shadows. I'm not a politician. Oh, okay. Is this comfortable for you? That's uncomfortable, but I can handle it. Okay, we'll make it short then. Uh, to what extent, uh, well, you, you said you had a, a concern with about something that's been going on I've been, in the drug war? or? Well, I, I know a lot of the people and I've been working with the people at uh, Amber's Place and Hope for Recovery. And I was just in there on the lecture on state stations where somebody addicted can go into a, a fire station and uh, um, try to get help. Well, that's a really awesome idea, and Chris Hickey is, uh, you know, one of the guys uh, um, putting it forward, and it's, it's a great thing, you know, except you can't go into a fire station and get help if there's no place to get help. And so Hope for Recovery and Amber's Place have been filling that gap. Hope for, uh, Hope for Re New Hampshire Recovery is uh, doing a great job. They've been working on a shoestring budget forever. I remember when they were over but on Canal you Street. You said there was some sort of discrepancy in the way these organizations are funded? Yeah. So basically the, st the city of Manchester thus far has spent about $600,000 to... Um, to fund various things, including recently $100,000 for Amber's Place. Sorry, making my eyes water. Amber's Place is a place where if somebody's on um, uh, addicted, can go in there and it's 24-7, there's some place for them to stay, because that's part of the problem, is when somebody, there's, there's a very brief window if somebody's addicted to opiates where they are, they want to get help. You know, uh, they were just saying in there one of the uh, biggest days they had. The you want to go into the shade? That's okay. I'm fine. Oh, okay, all right, good. Uh, one of the biggest days they had, for instance, at the fire station was on Father's Day, because fathers, you know, it just came. The epiphany but, uh, of being a dad and being addicted to heroin just just. Well, I'm still them. not understanding what the discrepancy in funding is, though. The discrepancy is the city of Manchester has already come up with six hundred thousand oh. dollars, and this is a county problem. It isn't a just a Manchester problem. Safe stations, forty percent of the people that are going in there aren't from Manchester. So who's so, but who's not getting the money? Places like Amber's place, they, oh, okay, they could they could actually do more. Do you know how much they're getting? They got a hundred thousand uh, dollars. Pat Long, I'm with Pat Long, uh, the alderman and state rep, and he, he they and Ted, uh, the alderman and, and Gatsis gave Amber's place a hundred thousand dollars. But I remember being over there with uh, with uh, Chris Blevins, and she, when she opened it, she talked to me confidentially. Says, you know, we only have like two weeks, enough money for I think two weeks or a month to keep this open. Are you on the commission? I am on the commission. I've got a question for you. To what extent do you, would you say the commission is focused on the drug war as opposed to uh, decriminalization? I'm probably the wrong person to answer that. I'm, I'm on the insurance side of it. I see. So you haven't, uh, you, you've been to a lot of these meetings though, right? I've been to a lot of these meetings. I think there's a, a permanent focus in the sharing of, of you know, the concern over all the issues associated with the opioid. How much is decriminalization coming up as an issue at these at these uh, events? A fair amount. Okay. Thank you. All right, thanks. What was your name? Okay, take care. No. Oh, this lady is trying to make a donation, I guess, to the program, to the uh, Safe Stations program. Oh, nice on her. Senator, can you name something that you've done to reduce taxpayer expenditure? That wasn't one of them.